Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin and for today's video, I am letting Google Images decide what I eat for the whole day, but there's a little bit of a twist. So I have a stack of Uno cards. So the way that it's going to work is I already have the places that I want to go to in mine. So I'm going to search that place on Google, but the way I'm gonna pick the number is I'm gonna pull the top number off the card. So this one is one, so that would mean that I would just click the first image and order that. But in this deck, there's also reverse cards. So if I pull a reverse, then I'm gonna scroll to the bottom of the images and then count up the next number that I pull. If I pull a plus two, then I'm gonna pull a new number and then add two to that. If I pull a plus four, then I'm gonna pull a new number and add four to that. And then if I pull just a wild card, I'm just gonna pick whatever picture I want that looks good. So the first place that we're gonna go to is Starbucks. I know a lot of people have opinions about Starbucks, but I am in need of some coffee and I feel like I go to Dunkin' almost every video that I do. So we're gonna go to Starbucks today. Okay, so let's Google Starbucks drinks. Oh, if I could type. And then images. Okay, so Google images are pulled up. So let's pick a number. What is that? Two, okay, that would be this one um what is that all right well it looks like a mocha frappuccino to me so that's what we're gonna order and then we need a food so starbucks food and then we'll pick the next card is a plus two okay <laughs> and then the next one is a five okay so seven one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is a grilled cheese. So we are getting a mocha frappuccino and a grilled cheese. Oh my gosh. All right, I will see you guys at Starbucks. Okay, I'm at Starbucks and I got the mocha frappuccino and the grilled cheese. So I have not had a frappuccino in literally ages probably since like I first started working at Starbucks because then I realized that there was like so much more on the menu than just Frappuccinos and I never really got them since, but we're drinking one today. <laughs> Honestly, it's not as good as I remember. Hmm. When I was a kid, these were like the best things ever. It's okay, but I would definitely prefer like a cold brew or like a shaken espresso with cold foam. Those are so good. Okay, grilled cheese. I wish they cut it, but I guess we're gonna try and rip it apart and see if we can get a nice cheese pull out of it. Let's see. <laughs> uh, kind of. <laughs> All right. This is what the grilled cheese looks like. Let's take a bite. That's actually really good. It is so like buttery. Can you see that? Like you squeeze it and you just like see all the butter. I was hoping for breakfast and I got a grilled cheese and a frappuccino. Definitely not breakfast, but I feel like Google definitely did me good for this one. I really like the flavor of the cheese and the bread that it's on has a really nice crunch to it. I'm pretty sure it's on sourdough bread and I really like sourdough. Mm. 
I'd give the grilled cheese like a 7 out of 10. It's good. <laughs> I definitely need a napkin though. <laughs> My hands are so like buttery. And they didn't give me one. It is so cold and rainy out today. Yesterday it was like 65 degrees and sunny. And I like took the dogs on a long walk and I'm like, oh, it is so nice out. Spring is coming. <laughs> and out today, it's like the exact opposite. We're almost there though. Okay, actually these pair are so nice together. I'm like a major weirdo and I love cheese and chocolate together, like that combination. And I mean, this is that. <laughs> I'd say stop number one is like an eight out of 10. Pretty good, not amazing, but definitely good. Okay, I am back from Starbucks and I don't know if you've heard, you probably have, but McDonald's is now Wickdonald's and I really wanna try it out. So we are going to Google Wickdonald's. McDonald's menu. Okay, I have McDonald's pulled up, so let's pick a card. One. All right, so the first picture is a 10 piece nugget, french fries a Sprite and McDonald's sauce. So let's go get them. Okay, so I'm at McDonald's for the McDonald's, and this is the bag that it comes in. So I didn't realize when I Googled it that there's only like one picture and one meal, I'm pretty sure, which is the 10 piece with the fries and the sauce. So whoops, kind of cheated on accident because I was getting this no matter what, but I swear I did not realize but we got our medium fries. Ten piece chicken nuggets. The McDonald's sauce. And a Sprite. Oh my gosh, the cup even says McDonald's. That is so cool that they did that. Okay, so I have heard very mixed reviews about this sauce. Some people say they love it. Some people say they hate it. So let's find out how we feel about it. Cheers. Mmm. I don't think I like that. Okay, it's very spicy, but the sauce itself, like, it tastes like if you mix soy sauce and, like, ginger together. Definitely something that you would expect to taste if you got, like, Asian cuisine. Do you remember when the, the Mamba, Mamba, Mamba sauce, I think it was Mamba. Everybody yelled at me for saying it wrong. The Mamba sauce and the uh, spicy jam came out. Those were so good. This one I don't really think is on that level. But at the same time, Everybody likes different things, so if you really like soy sauce and that those Asian flavors, you probably would really like this. I should have asked for another sauce with this. I even like some ranch, some um, sweet and sour sauce. <laughs> Definitely 
definitely not my favorite, but I think you just have to try it for yourself. Okay, I will see you back at home to find out what we're getting for the last stop of the day. Okay, I have had a lot of food so far and I am getting really full. Um, but we have one more destination to go to and I think we're gonna go to Freddy's. Hopefully Google Images is on my side and I can get a burger and dessert because you guys know I love dessert. So let's Google Freddy's. Okay, let's pick a number. Ooh, it's a wild card. Yes. Okay, so now I can pick. Oh my gosh, this is the best time to get a wild card. I am so stoked. All right, so let's pick something that has a burger and ice cream. I see number one does. I think that's just a regular burger with their turtle. Let's see if we can find anything else. Oh my goodness. Bet you nobody's there because no one ever is. Excuse me, I'm trying to record a video and you're being kind of rude. Okay. I think we're just gonna... Okay, I think we're gonna go with the first image. It looks like just a regular burger, but I'll look on their menu and see if I can find one that's identical to that. If it's not, fries. And then I think it's their turtle sundae. So let's go get some Freddy's. <laughs> I'm really excited for this one. Okay, I got my Freddy's. The guy probably thinks I'm like crazy for ordering a sundae in this weather because it is currently a torrential downpouring. <laughs> When I was looking at the menu to try and figure out which burger was in the picture, their original, like number one, looked identical to it. So that is what I got. So this is what it looks like. It is on fire right now. Oh my gosh, my hand is burning. Um, so it has the bun with ketchup and tomatoes, pickles, onions, cheese, and two smash burgers. I find it very interesting that all of their burgers come with mustard. I feel like that is not normal for it to be like mustard by default. I feel like normally things come with ketchup, but I like mustard, so I'm not complaining. But um, then I got the turtle sundae. It looks really good. You can feel the warm fudge, but I don't like walnuts. So I'm probably gonna eat around them or try them for the full turtle experience. And I don't know, maybe they'll be good in this, but let's eat the burger fast before my Sunday melts. <laughs> okay. I think Freddy's has such good burgers. They are so good every time, but everybody around here hates on them and I don't understand why. Okay, so I think I like the California style burger a little bit better than this one. I really like the combination of the ketchup and the mustard on this, but the Thousand Island dressing on the California style burger was just amazing. This is so, so good though. You cannot go wrong with just a basic burger. I think that my favorite part about Freddy's is I feel like they're more like, they feel more home cooked opposed to like fast food. Like this feels like something that I could get or make at home, like in the summer to barbecue, you know, have a good smash burger. Mm. 
It gives me like those vibes and I love that. So I did get the regular fry sauce and the jalapeno fry sauce to have with my fries. I know it wasn't in the picture, but last time I got fries from here, I didn't show the sauce. And I felt bad because a lot of you guys were like disappointed by that. So I got the sauce to try it for you guys today. So this is their regular fry sauce. It kind of looks similar to like KFC sauce and like Chick-fil-A sauce and stuff. And it kind of tastes the same. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I guess <laughs> all the signature sauces are the same sauce. <laughs> Could you imagine? No, but it does have really good flavor to it. It's like kind of sweet. But it still has that like ketchupy flavor. It's good. Their regular fry sauce is very good. Jalapeno fry sauce. Oh no. That's what this one looks like. It kind of looks like their fry sauce mixed with like nacho cheese. <laughs> Okay, it literally tastes like jalapeno nacho cheese. You know the, um, in my one video, the Weird and Bizarre Food Combinations video, when I tried the Fritos jalapeno cheddar cheese, that is this. That is exactly what this tastes like. It would probably be so good with some nachos. <laughs> I personally prefer the regular fry sauce over this, but, but if you love that jalapeno nacho cheese sauce, you would love this. Okay, Sunday time. I haven't had a Sunday in forever. Cause normally I just have milkshakes. <laughs> okay, I really appreciate that they didn't overfill this so I could take the lid off and it didn't spill everywhere. Should we eat the cherry first? definitely eat the cherry first can you guys tie the cherry stem with your tongue when I was younger I used to pride myself on being able to do that but I have not attempted to in ages <laughs> okay it seems like this is really just like vanilla ice cream with a little bit of caramel and the walnuts I know that's what Turtle is, but I feel like it should be a little more caramelly. I mean, there's really not any caramel on here really at all. Oh, maybe it's down below. Okay, there is a lot of fudge down below. Ooh. Ooh, is that not fudge? I can't tell if it's fudge or caramel. It's caramel. That is good. <sighs> Ooh, when you get the bites of everything. Mm. Okay, well, on that note, I'm going to wrap this video up here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video. Don't forget about the giveaway going on. If you're new here, if you subscribe, you'll be in the running for a chance to win Apple AirPod Pros. All the details are in the description down below, so make sure you read that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.